Accurate forecast now. Our sun is rising at this moment and our temperatures are going to start to go up later this afternoon, but it will not be as hot today as it was yesterday. Right now across the state, we're seeing cool temperatures to our north once again, starting off in the 50s in Flagstaff and the Grand Canyon. 60s from Sholo through Heber, Payson and Prescott right now out to our west. Lake Havasu City already sitting at 90 degrees this morning. It's going to be sizzling out there today and across southern Arizona. We're actually in the 70s in Globe and Safford, where we're starting to see uh, some storm activity. We also have weather alerts already at play because of impending storms. Everywhere that you see in the green across the central portion of our state, that is a flood watch. It is in effect through tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., especially in our burn scar areas. The area that you see in gray is our high pollution advisory that's in effect here in Maricopa County for the rest of the afternoon. And then everywhere in yellow along this yellow outline, that's a blowing dust advisory. It's in effect until tonight, as we do have a major chance for blowing dust, particularly along the I-8 corridor between Maricopa and Pinal counties. As we take a live look at clouds and radar right now, you can see this band of thunder storms off to our south. So as we zoom in closer, you can see that we're seeing those storms fire up right now in areas like San Carlos, Globe, Top of the World, Roosevelt Lake, Superior, moving into Florence Junction, areas of Florence, Casa Grande. Even some neighborhoods in Queen Creek might get a little bit of rain and see that lightning this morning. Off to our northwest, up close to Lake Havasu City in Wikia, Baghdad, Alamo Lake, all seeing those isolated thunderstorms as well. Not quite looking like it'll make it into Lake Havasu City, but you might get a sprinkle or two. As for those temperatures across the state today, we're going to see extremely hot temperatures in that area of the northwest through the lower Colorado River Valley, close to 110 degrees. Lower down in Yuma, high of 102, low 100s across the southern portion of Arizona, 90s from Safford through Payson and Sedona, and north of the rim, we'll see highs in the low 80s today, where we do have stronger storm chances up to our north. Here in the valley, the winds are going to be a little bit stronger today as well, about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then we get into the heat of the day and we see those winds pick up 10 to 15 miles an hour. Later this evening, 7, 8 o'clock, we could even see gusts around 30 miles an hour. And certainly stronger winds if you get a storm pocket hitting. Temperatures will be in the 80s for a while. It'll take us until 10 to hit the 90s. 2 o'clock is when we start hitting those triple digits and we'll be in the low 100s across eastern air, uh, eastern portion of the valley 104 for Mesa, Tempe and Ahwatukee over in the West Valley. Similar temperatures, although 102 for Deer Valley, 101 for Anthem. And as we put future cast into play, you can see after 3 o'clock is when we start seeing those storm chances fire up to our north and east. Anytime after that into the early evening hours, we have those rain chances, but we should be dry by the morning commute and then we have storm chances at play here in the valley and up north every day for the next seven days with the strongest chances looking like Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We're back with more on the other side of this break. Stay with us.